Welcome back to another episode of a Rover's Wandering No Man's Vagabond podcast. I am your host, your favorite Apache Norseman from L, Rock and Rob. I want to thank everyone that has been tuning in, as well as our first time listeners. If you're tuning in from YouTube, please like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're tuning in through formats via Amazon, Audible, Amazon, Google, or Spotify, please leave a positive review through those formats. If you want to support me directly, please send me a digital tip via Cash App, Chime, PayPal, or Venmo to rockinrobsa 210 That's R-O-C-K-I-N-R-O-B-S-A-210. You can also support me now through Patreon at an Apache Norseman from hell. If you have questions, concerns, comments, or would just like to chat, please send me an email to chat with me directly at rockinroblives210, that's R-O-C-K-I-N-R-O-B-L-I-V-E-S-210, at gmail.com. On today's episode, new opportunity and other matters. So it's been a while since I posted another podcast to update my situation. I've been busy working on other videos, as well as scrambling and working like crazy to find a job. The good news is, I found a full-time job at a call center that pays $17.50 an hour. This is wonderful news. However, that's the good news. The bad news is, I won't be starting until October 2nd. Now, normally, I would be willing, I wouldn't be willing to wait so long to start another job. Any other, in any other situation, I would just tell them that I couldn't wait that long to start working and would move on with my job search. However, this is a very, very good opportunity. The most I have ever been paid prior to this was $15 per hour. Not only does this pay even more, but it also has medical, dental, vision, and retirement benefits, paid vacation, and tuition reimbursement free online medical consultations, and many, many other various benefits. Best of all, it's Monday through Friday schedule. This is a very, very good position, and I cannot afford to say no. However, the big problem is that I am flat fucking broke. I would start halfway into the first pay period and wouldn't get my first paycheck till Friday, October 20th. So this means it's going to be close to an entire month until I get my first paycheck. That is not good. This is where you, my listeners, come in. I've asked before, and now I am literally begging you now. I am begging. I need to make it to my first paycheck. The best way you can do that is to send donations to Chime, PayPal, or Venmo in particular. It's not best to send it to Cash App because I owe that company almost $50 in particular. If you want to help me get over this hurdle, and allow me to do what I need in order to be successful, please send donations to those formats, once again, to rockinrobsa210, R-O-C-K-I-N-R-O-B-S-A-210. Again, please, I need your help. I'll even make a special deal, an incentive, if you will. If I get donations totaling $300 or more from any and all of my listeners before October 20th, I will make a video where I shave my head. That's right, listeners. I'll make a video where I shave my head. I will use some of those funds to purchase a hair trimmer to shave my head with. You know you want to see me do this. Not only that, but I'll send a shout out to all donors as well. Because my first payday will be on October 20th, I'm going to set the deadline for October 19th. If I can get $300 in donations before October 19th, I will shoot a video and post it to my YouTube channel where I will shave all my hair off my head. So that's something to think about as well. I will keep tabs and update you and everyone via YouTube as to how many donations I get. So again, send those donations to Chime, PayPal, and Venmo to rockinrobsa210. That's R-O-C-K-I-N-R-O-B-S-A-210. Please do not send anything to Cash App at this point in time. Moving forward, I would like to take some time to discuss the impact of homelessness and what it has done to me in the last 14 months. Needless to say, it has not been good. Not only because I'm getting older, 
but add all the experiences I've been through, and it's taking a toll on my body. I'm in constant physical pain. My body hurts and aches almost all the time. I can never seem to be comfortable when I'm awake or even when I'm asleep. It doesn't help much that I'm sleeping on the ground. Mind you, I have padding that I use, but it still hurts a lot when I wake up in the morning. There is also the mental stress I've endured. Realizing how much emotional trauma that I have had to bury because of the experiences I've been through. Seeing people die in front of me. People trying to kill me. There's also the noticeable effect of being around people all the time, but at the same time, so incredibly emotionally disconnected from almost everyone. It's really troubling what I'm seeing these days. It seems like a lot of bad things are happening and people's tempers are running extremely short. Just the other day, I was standing outside the library and using my phone to record. A woman at the bus stop across the street started screaming at me, telling me to shut the fuck up. I flipped her off and ignored her. It's getting really hard to even see the most basic sense of decency in human beings that conduct themselves this way so frequently. It's overwhelming. It's an overwhelming feeling that we as a people are totally fucked. I have a lot of time to myself to think and contemplate, which is why I try to keep as busy as possible. I don't like to experience introverted thoughts. It's hard for me to think about things that have been happening to me over the last year and two months. All the people that I thought meant I meant something to them, it didn't take very long for them to show their true colors. Now, I'm real quick to cut people off if I have to. I find myself having to do it having to do it more and more. People have been reliably unreliable in this situation. Lots of people have told me they would help me if they could, even though I know for a fact they can, but they just don't feel like it. Nowadays, if I even so much catch the slightest hint of bullshit off somebody, I'm real quick to cut them out of my life. I wish I had done something that, like that a long time ago. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't have been in this situation and maybe I would have been surrounded by nobody at all, but it's a lot better than being surrounded by nobody than surrounded by a bunch of bad people you cannot count on. Maybe if I had done things differently, things wouldn't be like they are now. This kind of situation changes you permanently. It stains your outlook on life. It contaminates the way you look at people. After a while, you have a hard time recognizing yourself in the mirror. I hate looking in the mirror. I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't see the same excitement or exuberance that used to be there. I see somebody who is tired and sore. Somebody who has had his most basic human dignities trampled time and time again. Someone who is pragmatic and cynical rather than altruistic and hopeful. Someone who has given up on people. So that's going to conclude today's episode. I want to thank everyone once again for tuning in for another episode of a Rover's Wandering No Man's Vagabond podcast. I am your host, your favorite Apache Norseman from hell, Rock and Rob. I want to thank everyone that's been tuning in, as well as our first-time listeners. If you're tuning in from YouTube, please like and share this video, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you are tuning in from formats via Audible, Amazon, Google, or Spotify, please leave a positive review through these formats. If you want to support me directly, you can send me a digital tip with the exception of Cash App, rather send it to Chime, PayPal, or Venmo to rockinrobsa 210 That's R-O-C-K-I-N-R-O-B-S-A-210. You can also support me now through Patreon at, a, at an Apache Norseman from Hell. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or would just like to chat with me, please send me an email to rockinroblibs210. That's R-O-C-K-I-N-R-O-B-L-I-V-E-S 210 at gmail.com. This is the Apache Norseman from Hell, signing off.